Hi guys! So I'm doing um, the video responses right now. Um, the first one I chose was Who or What Have You Loved Most and Why? And the person I love most is my dad. I love my family, uh, I love my mom, but my dad is just my best friend and he has been since day one. Um, and I think it's kind of funny because so many of my girlfriends and um, young girls that I know, young women I met, that I know are closer to their mothers, which is understandable, but um, my mom and I are very different and my dad are, and I are very similar. I am my father's daughter and I truly embrace that because he's the best person I know. Um, my dad's the most humbled, caring and giving person. He's the best listener and advice giver. Um, I mentioned in one of my other answers, um, my essay answer is that my family had a tough time a couple years back with my parents' divorce and it was really hard on my dad especially obviously, but um, he was always very reassuring that, you know, in the end, everything's going to be okay because God will see us through it, and if we prayed on it, um, we'd make it, you know, we'd make it through it, and he persevered, and he was right, and I think um, he's just such a good example for my siblings and I to follow and things like that. Um, one specific example, though, of why my dad is the person I love most. I'll give you a brief background of my father. He's um, one of five children and was raised in a very loving and close family, but a disadvantaged one. Um, therefore, he had to work his butt off to get to where he is today, and that's a pretty well-off attorney um, in his own firm in upstate New York. So, um, so the story goes, my dad was in his first year of law school out in California and was taking out tons of student loans to get by. And at one point, he needed someone to co-sign his loan. And when he asked his parents, my grandparents, they just wouldn't do it because they didn't have that kind of money in case something didn't work out. So he kept attending his classes even though he didn't have his loan. And the school told him that they would have security come in and escort him from the premises if he didn't pay his tuition. So it was then that his roommate at the time lent him about 10 grand so that he could stay in law school. And just recently, the beginning of this year, um, when his old roommate, Kreger is what we call him, was having trouble getting a new car, my dad went and bought him one, a brand new car. So that's, that's what I love about my dad. And, you know, although I, I grew up financially stable and I, I never had to worry about money the way my dad did when he was growing up, he never raised my siblings and I to be spoiled or to expect more because of that. In fact, he was the opposite. He taught us all, you know, the importance of hard work and perseverance and when my sister and I were 15 we had to get jobs we weren't allowed to go to our high school dance middle school dance um, but because of that my siblings and I understand what it means to be rewarded for hard work and be giving as well as the importance of family and listening to people when they need you and having a strong strong faith in God and, and knowing that everything happens for a reason so that's why I love my dad the most